In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my top bentos at Shinagawa Station. A lot of people that are going down south or even up north, you can actually take the Shinkansen from Shinagawa Station. There's just so many different options here that I kind of wanted to break it down and show you some of my favorites so that when you come here, you're not kind of lost and you don't know what to get. And don't worry, I brought Maiko along again to show you some of her favorites because I know you guys like that as well. But before I would continue, if you guys want to help support the channel, then definitely check out the Tokyo merch. And if you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, then definitely check out the Instagram account. So if you're getting on the Shinkansen train from Tokyo, there's a good chance you'll be heading out from Shinagawa Station. And there's no experience like getting a proper bento lunchbox. Take with you on the Shinkansen ride. I've already created a bento video for Tokyo Station, so it only made sense to take you on a tour of this major train hub as well. At Shinagawa Station, bento shopping will be mainly at the acute south or acute area. Acute South offers more souvenir suites with a few bentos, and Acute, which is the area closest to the Shinkansen entrance, has a wider selection of bento options. Number 7. Bada Chirashidon from Sakana Baka. Shinagawa used to only have one sushi shop, Takewaka, which has been our favorite since you can't really go wrong with their sushi. But recently, Sakana Baka joined the fray on the acute side. Sakana Baka is a fish store with three locations in Tokyo, so you know they're coming with that wake you up in the morning freshness. Check out this barachirashi. All of the different loveliness. A lot of times I'll get sushi when I go on the train. This time I wanted to kind of do it a little bit different and show you guys that you can get everything just like chopped up and ready to go in this little, little bento. You have some salmon, you have some egg, you have some scallops, you have some maguro, it has some kanpachi. And the right stuff is just quite a lot, quite like a full meal. Got all the different pieces in there. Mm. As always, the fish is fresh, got some wasabi in there as well to give it that nice nasal clearing. Look at that scallop. Mm. That shiso is nice as well. The fish is fresh, the egg is on point. So I always choose a chirashi or any kind of like fresh fish um, bento. So I like this one because it's got like a huge, huge hotate uh, scallop. It's kind of rare to have this like huge chunk of hotate in your chirashi. And it has like a mountain of ikura, which I love. It's kind of like a fancier version of chirashi. Mm -hmm. okay. It's so fresh. I thought it just melted in my mouth. Mm. I think it's too loud, so we're gonna move to another spot. This is a little bit better. The lighting isn't as good, but there's better sound, so you guys can hear me better. So we're gonna do it here instead. Number six. Japanese Kapo Bento at Nadaman. Nadaman is a luxury Japanese restaurant chain with about 190 years of history, serving their elegant Kapo style bento box. You can also find this shop in many department stores, but this Shinagawa shop offers limited Shinagawa only bento boxes. Because let's be real, who wants a bento box that you can get at any other old train station? So this is actually Maiko's pick and it's kind of like the utility bento because it has all these little pockets of Japanese goodness. So you got some yuba right there. You have some shredded beef right there. You have like your regular standard shiitake. Two kinds of rice you have. Takenoko which is some bamboo. Let's try this meat. Luscious. Ooh, there's a lot of flavor in that. You have some sesame seeds in there, but there's a lot of lot of flavor and it's almost like so savory that you want to mix it with some rice to kind of like balance it out a little bit like that. I mix it a little bit like that and then have a bite. Mm. My other favorite is to just like have a piece of this yuba, just kind of like a like a tofu skin. Mm. That's good. That, you can see all the different layers that I just bit into. Bamboo is really good too. So Nadaban's mento is like a, it comes in like a little tiny dishes and you get a little bite of a lot of things. Basically like a kapo style. You know like all the girls like that, right? I like the beef in here. The seasoning is not too much, not too salty. It's just like on point. Mmm. So like there's a lot of Japanese style like bento. Just get this one. Or like you're gonna like it no matter what. Number five, Gyutandon from Rikyu. Who wants more meat? We've got it! So this is Gyutan, which is actually beef tongue. You can see these little thinly sliced pieces of beef tongue. And what's special about this one is that it comes in this very, very 
thick tray because it's actually self-cooking. It actually has like the heater at the bottom here. We pull the string from here and it actually cooks it. You let it sit for maybe like seven to eight minutes and it cooks itself. And now we're gonna have this lovely meal. The actual beef tongue itself is good. The sauce is a little bit like sweet and almost like tangy at the same time. If you don't want too much of that sauce and maybe just like use it sparingly. In terms of the portions, it's not the, like the largest portions in the world, um, but this thing is quite heavy because it has a heater. You can see right, this is the actual tray itself. So there's not a lot. I always have to have more meat. There's only like one, two, three, four, like five pieces of beef tongue here and they're like really thinly sliced. But man, it is so good. It is so good and it's nice to have a warm dish. Number four, egg katsu sandwich from Torito Tamago Taro. Taro is a shop where you can throw down on some atsuyaki tamago from Fukagawa Taro, known for their Kim Kardashian tamago yaki. Yeah. I just made that up. Please, please don't ask them for the Kim K special. Look at that tamago yucky. Look how perfectly cooked that is. You can see all the different layers of the tamago yucky fried around this panko crust, kind of like a pork katsu. And then you have this nice, nice white bread. A sandwich for the gods. Mmm. That's good. Egg is perfectly seasoned. It's not sweet at all, like it has more of a savoriness to it. Crust itself is not like that crunchy, but as you can see, it has like the mayonnaise on here and it has like some peppers. It gives it like a nice tangy bite to it, which I really like. And then the peppers just kind of round it out. The sandwich is just perfect for on the go. Look at that. It's like that five finger discount. I mean, it was no discount. I paid full price. All right, before we continue, time to pay for Maiko's haircut. I want to thank our sponsor, Surfshark VPN, for sponsoring this video. Without them, I wouldn't be able to make these videos for you guys. If you guys don't already know, Surfshark VPN is one of the best ways to keep your sensitive data secure. In fact, I've been using Surfshark VPN for over a month now, and it just gives me that peace of mind when I'm traveling that all of my data is secure because, believe it or not, I have to do banking on site, I have to access some kind of sensitive information when I'm traveling, and just just having that VPN is that security blanket that just makes me feel safe to be accessing my data at hotels. And what's super cool is I can use it on any of my devices like my PC or my mobile device. So get Surfshark VPN today by going to surfshark.deals forward slash Paolo. Enter the promo code Paolo and get 83% off and an extra month free. That said, let's keep this food train rolling. Choo choo! Number three, Onigiri at Kongaria. So if you know anything about rice balls at Shinagawa Station, then you know that this is the spot. You probably also know that this spot doesn't just serve basic ass onigiri that you get at the konbini. They also come with that fire with their unique grilled rice balls. All right, y'all, we got the onigiri hitters. There's so many different onigiri at this shop and Maiko chose one of her favorites and then I chose my kind of favorites, which are, how do you say, a little bit on the junk in the trunk side, meaning it'll put a few calories on your bones so this right here looks like that cheese but in fact it's tamago it has egg oh, oh i think i just got it on my nose <laughs> the seaweed itself has been wrapped around here so you can see that it gets a little bit dry if you ever had like onigiri at the convenience store sometimes i actually have the plastic separating the seaweed and the rice so it doesn't get too soggy this one is just a little bit on the soggy side but that's one style that's nice it has a pork meat in there and in fact, that was like a really juicy piece of pork. It's actually on the like really, really savory side. And you can see that it has kind of the egg yolk in there, pork. Oh, there's another piece. Let me just pull this out. It's a really fat piece of pork. This one will get you out of the bed in the morning and say, hey, I might have a heart attack. It has some spicy cod roe on top. It has some melted cheese. There's some mayonnaise there. It has some spicy cod roe on the side and it's all wrapped around this beautiful nori seaweed. Have a bite of this loveliness. Mm, the mayonnaise. I don't know, do you guys like mayonnaise? But that mayonnaise is just really delicious. The spicy cod is nice. The cheese is nice. Like you can't go wrong with this one. But this is like a hefty rice ball. If you're into like that junky junk, and this one is something you want to put in your trunky trunk. So what I got is kombu. Like the basic of the basic. 
I like how they have like a lot of sesame seeds in there so like you get the crunch, not crunch but like the texture as well as the sweet meaty kombu they don't do it so salty it's more on like a sweet side so it's just like a really good balance with rice number two the shinkansen thick dog to make this special treat venture into the back area of a cute into the small grocery and bakery area where you could find wine shops cheese and a meat deli i picked up the bun from an old french bakery called paul they offer amazing sandwiches but i went for their pan sale roll the sausage is from bar marche kodama which is just across from the paul bakery they have a wide selection of sausages you can customize to your taste oh and they also have a cafe space in the back and if you come in the morning you can even throw down on their all you can eat prosciutto morning buffet look at the size of that wiener and it's a spicy version but you can get like different flavors which is really cool about this shop what i like to do as I take this bread, it's kind of like a shopan, but it's actually a little bit like harder than your normal shopan. It has that like kind of chewy texture to it. So I take it and I open up the bread just like so. And once it's open, I put the wiener inside and this is what you get. Sometimes in Japan, you get like a hot dog and the hot dog is actually smaller than the bun. Who does that? That's insanity. Sausage must always be bigger than the bun. If you guys agree with me, then let me know in the comments. If you think that the bun could be bigger than the sausage, then I really don't think it can be friends. Let's <laughs> take a bite out of that. Mm. The wiener has like that nice spicy kick to it. And you can see that it still has like all the different meat chunks. It hasn't been processed that much. It has like all the fresh sausage in there. For the bread itself, it's nice, it has like a nice texture when you bite like a chewy texture. A little bit hard, almost like a French bread, but a lot more chewy. It just goes so well with this sausage. Mm. The meat store itself has all different types of meat. Next to it, there's like a cheese store, there's like you can get pate, you can get like different kinds of bread at the bakery. Mm. I can't get enough of this though. Number one, Spanish Bejota Iberico Pork Jus at Ishan. Look at this pork bento. Pork perfectly marinated in a dark sugary brown sauce. It has a nice shishito. It has some tamago yaki. And this is actually like their most popular bento at the store. That's a lot, but we're gonna try to fit it in my mouth. Mmm. The pork itself, it's luscious, it's tender. The sauce is quite sweet. It does have karashi. Put a little bit on this just like so and as I like to say I'm reloaded mm, that's also good with that mustard look at this meat it's like super thick and like juicy I can tell it's juicy mm, it's seasoned in this perfect sweet thing meaning soy sauce kind of sauce Oh my god, it's so good! As you can see, it does have a lot of fat, but like you don't really feel like it's heavy. Alright, so that concludes the video. If you liked it, help me out and hit that like button. And for those of you who keep on asking for the Day in Life videos, don't worry. I have another Day in Life video coming next week, so definitely stay tuned. If you want to see more of what I'm doing on the daily, then definitely check out my Instagram account. If you want to help support the channel, then definitely check out the Tokyo merch. And if you want to see more of these Japan guys, tips and tricks on what to do in Tokyo, then definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell button. That all said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.